Transportation. All tractor owners has to register at the office here. All tractors needs to be registered. Thank you. It was sitting in a field down the road from my house and it had been sitting there for a couple of years. I kept bugging the guy about buying it and he finally, I had something he wanted and we did it, we traded. It wasn't in bad shape, it needed tires, it needed painted. It wasn't rusted, it was just kind of wore off and faded. I just like this style of tractor. It's kind of what you grew up with. I mean, if your parents or grandparents had John Deere's or Alice Jammers, that's pretty much what you stuck with. I grew up on a dairy farm, but there wasn't any steam engines around or anything. My uh, uncle thrashed for us, but he had a 1530 International tractor. But uh, I've always been interested in old stuff. Our farm was bought off the government in 1832. And uh, when I got, well, in 1964, I think, I went to Rushville, Indiana, to a big steam show, and I, the bug bit me. Beep, beep, beep. That's a 1906 Russell steam engine, traction engine. It's a steam tractor is what it is. 1906, it's, what is that, 105 years old? If that's what we did then. <laughs> Yeah. The old guys are dying off and there's not as many kids are coming up. They don't know what happened back then. One time now. There's not as many steam engines left either. It's got a big whistle on it. And we'll blow the whistle. You can hear it for four or five miles around probably, that big one. Up on this hill you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Green's all right, I guess. It's just, I don't like green. <laughs> Alice Chalmers just, I don't know, to me, it just seems like he's got more power. This is a 1919 Advanced Rumley. The uh, tractor is a two cylinder kerosene, but it's designed to run on kerosene or coal oil or almost diesel fuel or any kind of low grade fuel you can put in it. The engineers in 1919 were pretty good. Being able to reverse engineer the tractor to, to repair it, to figure out what they've done, has been a blast. It's a, it's a fun thing to do. It's the engine, it's the process. What I enjoy is seeing an old engine run for the first time after 40 years. They hear it run for the first time, now that's a thrill. 50 years ago, everybody pretty much had a farm. Everybody lived in the country, now it's flipped. Everybody's moving to city and urban areas, and there's a lot less farm, but there's they're a lot bigger. It's a good organization. It's very important because it's, it's you know, American heritage. Find out more about the Owen County Antique Machinery Association and link to a farm and tractor club in your county by visiting our Facebook page, where we'll post a list of groups from across the state.